In part D, we have a shunt resistor, a resist resistor extending between the two conductors at Z equal L over 4. And we want to plot the voltage at Z equals 0 versus time for up to 0.5 microseconds. So in that amount of time, we're going to be able to see a reflection from this fault. And so we need to be able to calculate the reflection coefficient for the fault. Now I'm going to label this RF. RF is in parallel with Z0. And so in order to calculate the total reflection, we need the reflect reflection coefficient uh, for R L L F, which is the reflection coefficient for the R F resistor in parallel with Z naught. So first we have to calculate R L F, which is one over one over R F plus one over Z naught. And this, if we plug in our numbers, is 1 over 5 plus 1 over 50, which is 4.55 ohms. Now we can obtain the reflection coefficient for the RF resistor in parallel with Z0. So we'll have RLF minus Z0 over RLF plus Z0. Plug in our numbers 4.55 and 50 for Z0 and we get minus 0.83. So at this point we can calculate, we already know V1 plus is 6 volts. V1 minus, and I'm going to put a comma F here because it's not a reflection from the load, it's a reflection from the fault location. We're going to use the reflection coefficient RLF for the voltage, it's multiplied by V1 plus, which is incident on that fault location. Plug in our numbers, I get minus 4.98 volts. All right, let's go over to our plot here and see how far along we are. We want to plot up to 0.5 microseconds. All right, so 0.5 microseconds. So we know we're going to see a value of V1 plus when the switch closes, because we're at the generator. And this, so right away we're going to see V1 plus. And then when are we going to see a voltage change? We're going to see a voltage change once this V1 plus wave has propagated to the fault and then back again. And that will take, that's capital T divided by 4 to get down to the fault, and T, T over 2 to get back to the generator side. So at 0.25 microseconds, or at, which is equal to T over 2, we are going to see a voltage change. And the voltage it's going to go to is V1 plus plus V1 minus F and we're also going to see, at the moment it reaches the generator, we're going to see another reflection and we're going to see V2 F plus. I'm using an F here because this is a voltage reflection that originated from the fault. It's reflecting here from the generator, but it's from the fault, so I also have an F there. So we also need to calculate V2 plus F and that is the voltage reflection coefficient at the generator times V1 F minus. And we plug in 1 fifth times minus 4.98 and that gives us minus 1 volt. So all three of these together we're going to get about 0. So right at 0.25 microseconds it'll go to 0. And that is our plot.